So we may not have an official announcement yet for a September Nintendo Direct, but boy has there been a ton of new Nintendo Switch news this week, and it's not stopping today because we have to talk about a brand new controller that Nintendo has filed an FCC patent for that we that means we will be getting a new controller one way or another, and then we have to talk about the leaks, rumors, and speculation around why N64 coming to Nintendo Switch Online is in the news, and I wanna share with you guys where these leaks are stemming from, how credible are they, and can we expect the N64 to be part of the announcement of a Nintendo Switch Online edition? What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Summer Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. As I mentioned, guys, we are covering a couple different stories today, the first of which is actually one about a new controller, and it kind of ties into our second part of the speculation, which is that we may see N64 soon announced for Nintendo Switch Online, and obviously, you know, with Nintendo rumors and speculation, you always have to take everything with a pinch of salt because, you know, Nintendo likes to do their own thing, and whenever people are expecting something, it normally doesn't happen, and when we're not expecting something like Bluetooth audio support, they just randomly drop it on Twitter, so keep all that in mind when we're talking about this, but the first part of the story is one that is for sure happening, we just don't know what it is yet, and that is the fact that Nintendo has filed an official FCC filing for a new controller that is for sure related to the Switch in some way, shape, or form, and it is different than any other controller that's out there. It's not like some kind of reskin or color variation of an existing product. It actually has to have different internals than what is on these other controllers right now for them to do this type of filing. So to start off, I do want to quickly hop over to VGC where they detail exactly what this filing is and what it could be. And so let's quickly read through that article, then talk about the discussion points on what this controller may actually be and when we may see it revealed. Confidentiality filing reveals Nintendo is planning a new Switch controller. The FCC has been asked to keep the information secret for up to six months. Nintendo is planning a new Switch controller, which is likely to be revealed within the next six months. A confidentiality agreement has revealed. The mysterious new product, simply described as Game Controller, was submitted to the FCC recently accompanied by a number of letters requesting confidentiality of its details. The letters request that all photos of the controller, its manual, its block diagram, and its schematics be kept secret for up to six months until Nintendo is ready to announce it. The controller has the model name HAC043, which confirms it's a Switch peripheral as all previous Switch hardware has used the HAC prefix. For example, HAC001 is the Switch console itself, HAC022 is the ring con for Ring Fit Adventure, and HAC042 is the wireless SNES controller released through My Nintendo for the Switch Online SNES library. The only information available for the device at the moment is a radio test report which tests the safety of the controller's wireless signals. This test shows that the controller was plugged into an HAC002 Nintendo's AC adapter for testing, which implies that the controller has a USB-C port. Nintendo has previously requested confidentiality when submitting new controller designs to the FCC. It did the same thing in August 2019 with its design for the wireless SNES controller. However, that request was supported by a diagram where the FCC's certification label should go, which made it clear the device was shaped like an SNES controller. For this new controller, a similar diagram has been added, but it simply shows two rectangles with no discernible details. The peripheral could potentially be related to recent reports that Game Boy and Game Boy Color games are set to be added to Switch Online service soon. After reading that article, there's at least one thing we can take to the bank with 100% certainty, and that is the fact that we are for sure getting some kind of new game controller for the Nintendo Switch hardware in the next six months. Now, in terms of what controller it is, is all up for debate and speculation right now. And you know, you have to have the conversation of Nintendo has not really ever addressed Joy-Con drift, and this could be a revision for Joy-Cons with new hardware, but I do think that that's less likely considering that we just got the special edition Skyward Sword HD Joy-Cons, and I would be surprised to see them release that as soon as you know july like they did and then turn around and release a joy con revision you know especially considering the fact that the switch oled models was most would most likely be shipping with the same joy cons at least for what we know right now so that's that's kind of all for debate and speculation on what this controller actually is my personal belief is that this will be tied to some kind of nintendo switch online announcement as you know when we got the nes games added in at the original announcement we shortly then after had an nes controller that was dockable to the side of the switch just like the joy cons were then we saw the next year in september of 2019 actually get the snes library of games added to nintendo switch online and we then saw an snes controller so it is likely that nintendo Nintendo follows their pattern here and you have to have the conversation of them skipping over 2020 with any kind of real Nintendo Switch online 
additions or major announcements but you do have to guys keep in mind that 2020 the entire world essentially shut down and we were lucky to get any kind of game releases at all as work from home requirements were not adapted to very fast or very easily at all and we're still playing the catch-up game you know even to in today's day and age with a lot of game de delays and development delays on various different things so my personal speculation is that this could be something like an n64 controller and maybe it has that USB-C charging port to actually be able to charge it up separately because I don't think that you would want to dock two N64 controllers on the side of the switch like I don't even know what that would look like it's kind of like a crazy thing to even try to imagine but I don't think it would work very well in the dock with having two N64 controllers hanging off the side of your switch so it would most likely need its own separate USB-C charging port in order to charge those controllers but it could also be a new pro controller revision but that would be surprising as you know why Nintendo would just choose to add a new pro controller into its lineup right now I mean they definitely could do that but their pro controller that they have on the market doesn't seem to be having any problems selling and it seems like most switch fans end up picking one up eventually so I will be surprised if it's that I do think this is most likely tied to Nintendo Switch Online in some way, shape, or form. And obviously I could be wrong about that, but the next story that we're talking about does kind of add more fuel to the fire. And again, you know, Nintendo is Nintendo at the end of the day, so it doesn't mean that any of this stuff is for sure happening around the corner, but if you look at history and what they've done with Nintendo Switch Online so far, and you look at their investor meetings and them always talking about how they're trying to get new subscribers to subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online and keep current subscribers entertained and bought into the subscription service, they're going to have to continue to evolve the platform and not just leave it stagnant like where it's been and you know fans are starting to notice and I think a lot of fans like myself when their subscription expires if you're not playing a ton of online multiplayer games there's not a good reason to stay subscribed to the service right now and so we are sorely missing some kind of announcement from Nintendo to overhaul the service and I think a new console or two will absolutely do that. So to start off the conversation, you had a bunch of rumors and speculation pop up a few weeks back when Innate the Hate podcast kind of took off from them discussing the likelihood that Game Boy and Game Boy Color systems would be added to Nintendo Switch Online. Then you had a bunch of different media publications such as Eurogamer say they confirmed with their own sources that for sure those two consoles would be coming. We even had the 2019 data miner leaks that came out that shows that essentially on the Switch firmware, there are four emulators, only two of which are currently currently being used one for NES, one for SNES, and then you have two other mystery emulators that are literally in the code sitting right there with code names for them that are just not being utilized. Now, Game Boy and Game Boy Color run on the same emulator, and then that leaves a mystery emulator for what the fourth one might be, and you also had Eurogamer when they corroborated this report actually say that other retro consoles are on the cards. Then as of yesterday, I believe it was yesterday when it went live, a Nate the Hate podcast again took off because he is now talking about saying that he can confirm that that other retro console that is being discussed right now or is on the cards, quote unquote, from Eurogamer is actually the N64 console and the N64 library of games that will be added into Nintendo Switch Online. He then speculates to say that it will most likely happen in this fiscal year, but of course that that is not a guarantee. He further discusses, and this is more of the speculation part, that Nintendo would most likely add this in with a higher pricing tier. And that's a big topic point that I wanna hear from you guys on because are you willing to pay more for Nintendo Switch Online if we got something like N64? Like that's a really interesting topic for me because I personally would, and I know that's not always going to be the most popular opinion, but at this point in time, I am currently expired on my Nintendo Switch Online subscription, just waiting for Nintendo to give me a real reason to renew this service. I'm happy to pay for the annual year upfront if you give me something like an N64 library of games, and you know, the discussion is that it would most likely be something as low as a $5 increase, maybe as high as a $15 increase, but we're not talking about like full on doubling or tripling the price of the service. And I don't think Nintendo would do that. And they may include a base tier that still includes everything you get today for the same price of $1.99 a month or the $20 a year. And then they may throw in, you know, a higher tier that also includes N64 and maybe your Game Boy and Game Boy Color system of games in there. And then by the way, here's a new N64 controller that you can pre-order at the event. So all of this stuff is really gonna be interesting to watch unfold. You do also have to have the conversation with N64 as I see a lot of fans mention in the comments down below that, you know, it's one of those systems that may not look as good when emulated on the Switch as something even like a Game Boy Advance, which is definitely also in the conversation 
to tend potentially be that extra system but you know the n64 does have an incredible library of games but then you, you also have like a whole section of those games and they discuss this in the podcast as well you know locked behind rare essentially as microsoft owns them now you know maybe nintendo writes a check to microsoft and works out the licensing deals to bring back some of those classics that would be very surprising but it is possible we do know from the apple v epic court case when all those documents got publicly listed that nintendo and microsoft definitely talk about what we don't exactly know other than you know there's certain collaborations that take place over the course of time we once speculated that game pass would probably come to the switch that's now looking less and less likely but i do think that you know maybe something like rare's lab library of games could make an appearance but it would be surprising but imagine if we you know got the n64 library of games but then didn't have the ones some of the true classics of the series like goldeneye if you guys could imagine what goldeneye with four player online multiplayer would look 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 like on the switch i think you would have everybody who owns a switch that has nostalgia for that game probably sign up for the service you then of course have all of the classic banjo games that came out on the n64 dk64 diddy kong racing perfect dark conquers bad fur day like rare actually did a ton of quality work in the overall history of the n64 and there's some of the top titles that fans would want to play so we would have to see some kind of interesting business deal worked out between nintendo and microsoft to actually have that go down as you know microsoft is now the parent company and the direct owners of rareware but now even without those titles there are still a ton of classics on the n64 that do need to be playable on the switch as you know but now that Mario 3D All-Stars has come and gone, you know, you can still find it out there on retail shelves because apparently Nintendo shipped way more of that game than people actually bought at this point in time. But eventually that well will want run, run dry and you can't actually play Mario 64, even Sunshine or Galaxy on the Switch any other way. But whether or not we'll continue to see Nintendo continue to add consoles to make those all playable that all remains to be seen or this might be one of those special occasions where you can only get it in that combo pack collection but we definitely need to have a way to play mario 64 going forward this could be that we also need to see games like mario kart 64 paper mario ocarina of time and majora's mask even if they're in their original n64 form i would still love to be able to play those on the switch although my personal hope for those specific titles is that we actually do see them at least remade again or we see at least the 3ds versions of those games ported over because to me those are superior outside of you could say majora's mask they definitely miss some mess some stuff up on that version of the game but it still looks better and i do think that they could tweak it and port those over and sell them as a combo pack and it would sell like wildfire so hopefully we do see that come over separately but besides that you have games like Star Fox 64 wave racer the Mario Party games maybe they even work out a deal with the Pokemon company and release Pokemon Stadium games on there and you know this is all going to lead to hours of fun and it's going to lead to a bunch of new subscribers for Nintendo Switch Online and as we're in this newer digital age the subscription service and subscription revenue for companies is more valuable than ever as you see what Microsoft is trying to do with Game Pass right now they're essentially trying to become a Netflix of games and as we go to more and more forward towards an all digital future in gaming the subscription revenues is going to be everything for these companies so I think it's silly for Nintendo to completely ignore and there's definitely naysayers that say that Nintendo Switch Online is getting nothing else and they're just going to leave it as is because Nintendo doesn't care about it. Well, I would challenge you on that is why do they bring it up in every investor meeting and why do they mention how many subscribers it's over like 10 million strong right now and that they want it to grow and continue to grow and they're doing a bunch of money into research and development on ways to continue to actually improve the service. So obviously this is something that's going to be the future for Nintendo in terms of trying to come up with new offerings and new ways for players to subscribe. And with the quality library that Nintendo has of games, they're essentially like the Disney of gaming. Whereas, you know, we saw Disney Plus come out as a subscription service now, and you have an incredible library of timeless classics that Disney created. And I think that Nintendo's in the same boat here. It just depends on how they wanna drip feed it to us, when they wanna announce it, but guys, at this point in the video, I would love to hear from you all on everything that you think about this topic, because I know it's a divisive one. People get tired of Nintendo rumors and speculation, and they see new things and they just write it off. And sometimes the rumors are wrong. I mean, you, you can point back to the OLED supposed to be a 4K console, and it definitely wasn't. Or was it because we still have that dock update that, you know, is a potential upgrade down the road, but that's kind of stretching a little bit right now. But I do think that, you know, even though we see these rumors pop up and they're not always true, you know, people still didn't think that the OLED model or any kind of new switch revision was going to happen. And we did get it whether normally where there's smoke, there's fire, there's something going on. And I do think that that's exactly what's going on with this NSO situation. But as I mentioned already, I would love to hear from you guys at this point, turn it over to you for the questions, because I want to hear if you guys think that 
you know, this controller is something like an N64 controller or maybe some kind of Game Boy style controller, what your speculation is around that and when you think we will see it officially announced from Nintendo. And then I really want to hear from you guys on if you think that Nintendo 64 could be around the corner from an announcement for Nintendo Switch Online, or if you think that maybe we're only getting Game Boy and Game Boy Color and maybe Game Boy Advance is the third system and these leaks and rumors are wrong. So please share all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below before you do leave the video as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic. Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join some donation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below, hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Some donation out.